My mom uh, died of pancreatic cancer two years ago. She was diagnosed the day after her 60th birthday very unexpectedly and told that she had 12 months to live and four short months later, she passed away. Pancreatic cancer was something I wasn't even aware of. I didn't even know anything about it until my husband, out of the clear blue, was diagnosed. As a pancreatic cancer survivor, when you say, I have pancreatic cancer, you no longer see the person's eyes. The eyes go straight to the floor, and it's almost like um, it's a death sentence. The pancreas produces enzymes enabling digestion and hormones that regulate metabolism. Without it, our body could not break down nutrients nor produce insulin, both conditions with serious consequences. While there are a few diseases that can affect this silent workhorse, the most lethal and feared is pancreatic cancer, often thought of as the worst of all cancers. Pancreatic cancer is the cancer that causes the worst possible survival of any tumor type. It's a bad killer that we haven't made much impact on. Over 35,000 men and women in North America this year alone will succumb to pancreatic cancer, a disease that ranks fourth among cancer death totals and first in mortality rate. Most patients are not diagnosed until the disease is beyond treatment. Early detection is difficult as symptoms are mild to non-existent at first, and when symptoms do become apparent, survival is unlikely. But there is hope. Well, I was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer on December 19th, 2002. And so uh, it was a, a rude awakening. Cancer really wasn't a big part of our life, but uh, it, uh, uh, it was a, you know, it's, it's a devastating disease. And we learned in a hurry that uh, it's very, uh, can be very discouraging. But we're fortunate that we have an organization like TGen that's available to offer hope. Major focus of TGen from the beginning has been to try to take advances that come out of a laboratory like this and move them towards the benefit of patients with uh, a variety of different diseases. So we're a biomedical research institute. We're focused on moving advances from the laboratory to the benefit of patients. Using the map of human genome to better understand diseases like pancreatic cancer is only part of TGen's mission a mission to bring earlier diagnoses and smarter treatments to patients. We think this is a very unique, uh, really proving ground to put that tremendous laboratory strength together with clinical strength. And everybody has the same drive, do something against the disease. It's not science for the purpose of science, it's science for the purpose of making a difference for patients. You don't see that everywhere. What TGen offered me that no one else did and Dr. Von Hoff specifically, was let's take this to the next level. Howard, you've had pancreatic cancer. It's, uh, you've had the best of a bad situation so far, but that you've got to focus and, uh, on your individual cancer. And let's test that. Let's go to the next level and see if it exhibits any markers that we can treat. And in my case, they did. And uh, I, I did you know, uh, go through some additional chemotherapy that was targeted toward the markers expressed by my tumor, which was, was great because that's going the next the extra mile, which is uh, often the difference between life and death. Through partnerships with world-renowned researchers and its role as administrator of the pancreatic cancer research team, TGen's research efforts are accelerated toward achieving earlier diagnoses and smarter treatments. Picture a collection of scientists who are engaged with a remarkable sense of urgency in trying to move things from the laboratory to the clinic and have decades of experience in exactly that. Uh, because the problem is not just a lack of ideas. There are many good ideas. Part of it is the development of those ideas to move them again urgently and directly to patient benefit. Uh, and TGen has the, the tools, they have the partnerships, and they have the experience that give the confidence for these scientists uh, that if they find something in the laboratory, they'll be able to benefit a patient. That's really what brings them here. The National Cancer Institute recently awarded TGen a $15 million research grant to discover and develop new drug therapies for pancreatic cancer patients. While the first grant of its kind focused solely on pancreatic cancer, the effort only scratches the surface of what's needed to make smarter treatments a reality.
And even though many experts believe pancreatic cancer in the near future will rank first in cancer-related deaths, research into the causes of this lethal disease receives only a tiny fraction of the government funding as diseases such as breast cancer. About $2.3 billion a year goes into basic research and clinical research for patients with breast cancer. For patients with pancreas cancer, depends how you look at it, but it's between 11 million and 17 million. Today, pancreatic cancer is usually terminal, but there is a promise on the horizon for early diagnosis. There is hope for an eventual cure. Through the efforts of TGen scientists and collaborators, possibilities are becoming realities. You see this big smile, it's <laughs> so exciting. Um, you know, dealing with it for 12 years, it took me five years to find a survivor or anyone that would even talk about pancreatic cancer. And so this, I just feel that uh, the awareness and the acceleration of the research is gonna come from TGen and it's exciting for the entire community. If I could roll back time, I wish I was able to help TGen more because perhaps TGen is on the cutting edge looking for early detection in pancreatic cancer and possibly could have helped somebody like my mom, Sina Magowitz, to possibly either find a cure for pancreatic cancer or to find an early detection where perhaps there would be some treatment where she could be alive today. There are cures that are on the way and the ultimate cure, I believe, is, is going to be there. But we just got to work to enable those scientists to, to make that happen. The lesson is simple. Make the investment, it'll pay off in terms of lives saved. And so uh, we really need people's help in patients for patients with pancreas cancer. Because we know that with proper investment and appropriate uh, getting out there and raising the funds to do it, it'll make a huge difference.